I've had a little think about this, done a little bit of research, applied some reasoning rather than the brute force and ignorance which I'm known for. This phosphor bronze lead screw nut is attached to a machined flat on the quill. You line those two holes up with those two holes up and you withdraw two hex head allen bolts all the way out that will allow the spindle to drop out. I am struggling. I have struggled. I cannot get those bolts through those holes without force. Now if I zoom in on this position a little bit better. There we are. Maybe I need to shine a torch on the matter. Shine a light on the matter. From the side probably. There is some damage here and here and as can be seen maybe by the shiny bits here uh, all around this hole well look, there's only one way to get something out of all and that is to make the hole bigger i cannot see that that has been su such fine tolerances uh, whatever it ain't coming out I don't know, those screws could have been a little bit loose and the heads could be a little bit mangled, meaning the catching. It's cold in here and the whole thing is iron and it's, it's possibly shrunk in. Do only have to shrink in really microns of dough and it would cause me problems. I ain't going to try to drill the holes any bigger. I don't think I've got the capabilities to do that. They may be hard and steel anyway. And I may not be able to do it. What I can do, I can get a grinding, a conical grinding stone, or even a Dremel, and I can put a lead in. On these two holes there's obviously a bit of damage there so as long as i can maybe get it to start in the hole it'll be able to come out the other thing i want to do i am going to apply some heat to this acme thread uh, hot ergon i think rather than a blowtorch blowtorch will probably set everything on fire and again I don't think it takes going to take a great deal of heat to make this thread expand a little. Let's line it up and try again. If that doesn't work, well, admit defeat, put it all back together. So with a, with a little bit of imagination, you know. I'm kind of doing this for myself as well so I can visualize what I'm working with. That is the shiny shiny bit. That's the the quill. On the quill is a machine flat. Now attached to that machined flat is that phosphor bronze but lead screw nut. That's the top of the lead screw nut. That's the lead screw. And this is one solid piece. So as you wind the handle, the lead screw stays still, but the quill moves up and down. To dismantle that, to remove the quill, I need to take the phosphor bronze lead screw nut out of that machine recess. Which means I need to remove that screw. To do that, you wind it down until that hole 
lines up with the screw and lines up with the outer hole now remove it undo the other nuts and bolts ease it off and take the lead screw out well, what I'm up to for some reason even though it looks like I'm lining them up that ain't going through that hole that's what I'm trying to do I am stuck on taking the quill out I'm getting nowhere I showed earlier in the video there was a tiny little bit of uh, of a burr I've taken a stone cylindrical stone and I've uh, you could say I, I put a I put a lead in into that hole I've had a hot air gun on it heat, heated it up I've still got nowhere it still still won't unscrew I think my next step before I find before I do give up end of day it's not gonna affect anything you know before I do give up I'm gonna take a bit of engineers blue gonna paint it and I see where it's exactly catching I think for the rest of this week I'm gonna continue on taking the old paint off I've got my paint coming in a week the next weekend I'd like to paint it so uh, I'm gonna crack on doing that I might have a little bit more play with that <sighs> see how we go